in Brooklyn in the Art School Factory for Vuss's Knives. We're here celebrating the release of the Yad Avraham Mishnah series, a project which we are told has been the works of dozens of scholars, dozens of editorial staff, and 30 plus years in the making. Art Scroll has been the leader of Jewish English publications for over 30 years, and now they have one more project to celebrate about. Started over 30 years ago, the Mishnah translation was one of Art Scroll's earliest endeavors. The Mishnah's project from its inception was uh, a project that was produced at a slower pace because it was considered uh, best to have one editor, one author per volume to give it a consistency. At the point there was a span of a number of years where there were various difficulties in continuing the project, difficulties in obtaining the proper personnel, and dif difficulties with funding. There were some lean years there in the funding. And uh, as a result, the uh, project did languish. So the Mishnah is the oral Torah. It's the foundation of it, foundation for the Gemara. The availability of this resource has made it possible for, I guess I'll be personal for a moment, people like me who came into observant Jewish life a lot later to start to catch up. Also, you think of groups like Partners in Torah and others who do paired learning for the, the late learner, the more mature learner, who doesn't have the foundation. This is packaged in such an easy-to-access format that if someone wants to get just the, the simple part of it, just I want to read through the Mishnah and do some kind of a seum, you can do that. But what about the students in the yeshivas? Is Art Scrolls Mishnah something we should be using in the yeshiva classroom? How do you see uh, or feel um, as the editor in, in this project about uh, kids today using the Art School Mishnahs in yeshivas versus uh, regular uh, Hebrew Mishnahs? Well, this is an old question, and uh, my personal feeling is that a student who is developing the skills of learning, and when you learn in yeshiva, it's not merely to know what the text says, but you have to develop the skills to learn on your own. And therefore, to use art scroll alone is not necessarily the best thing for a student. But I can't tell you the number of parents who have to learn Mishnayis with their children and review uh, who use... Uh, the art scroll Mishnah is to prepare for themselves to study uh, a Masechta, to review a Masechta with their young boys who are in school, and uh, they keep thanking me for providing that information. It's told that souls can still benefit from our learning, and it is a special merit to help anyone that has passed away by learning Mishnayos on their behalf. This is precisely how the project began, says Rabbi Danzinger. The Yad Avraham Mishnah series got its name from the founding sponsor, Mr. Louis Glick, who lost, tragically at a young age, a son, Avram Yosef Glick, and who saw this as an opportunity to memorialize his son with a project that would reach out to Klal Yisrael and make a contribution to an entire audience that had never previously been exposed to this type of learning. And uh, the parish therefore took the name of this son, Avram Yosef, and became known as the Yad Avraham Parish. And although its start might have been the result of a tragedy, the results of the project led into the development and translation of the entire Gomorrah series. The Mishnai's project created the audience that would later become the Gemara project. And without the Mishnayis project having been successful, I doubt very much that the Schottenstein Talmud would have ever happened. It was the success of the Mishnayis which showed that there was an audience, an English-speaking, English-reading audience, which thirsted for a deeper knowledge of Shas, originally in the form of Mishnayis, because our Mishnayis was never simply a basic commentary. Without that, I don't think the, the uh, Schottenstein Talmud would have ever happened. We also developed people uh, who were capable of writing and editing the lumdisha material that's necessary to make our shas the success that it has become, and that team was developed primarily in the Mishnayis. Uh, and it broke the ground to make it acceptable to publish on lumdisha topics in English and in a way geared, not just through language, but through presentation, in a way geared to bring the material to the level of the common reader and not just have it address the level of the scholars. 
So what's new at ArtScroll? Well, it depends what time of year it is, but there's always 50 or 60 new things here a year. But at right now, one of the most extraordinary things that's just come out in time for Parsis Truma is the Mishkan, the tabernacle, its structure, and its sacred vessels. Also the Big Day Kahuna are here. Almost 300 pages of extraordinary detail. I don't think you've ever seen the Mishkan represented the way that it is in this beautiful book. So it's also... Art Scroll is moving into unprecedented territory with the publication of the Art Scroll English Tanakh. Think of the stone Tanakh that you all know, but with the Hebrew removed, but some other special enhancements, study elements that are involved in it that are going to make it possible for people who are not so Torah literate to really grasp the full sweep of Tanakh, and that'll be widely, widely distributed. In fact, if there are people who are wondering, how do I introduce somebody who's not really uh, knowledgeable of Torah or Tanakh into that process, this new Art Scroll English Tanakh will really serve that well. From Brooklyn, Yosef Scheidler, Vin News.